In the high-stakes world of modern fighter jets, costs are soaring faster than the planes themselves. Programs like the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter burn through defense budgets like a kit with a flamethrower in a fireworks factory America alone has sunk hundreds of billions into it. But what if you want a top-tier fighter jet without selling your national treasures or turning your citizens into permanent taxpayers? Enter the Swedish JAS-39 Gripen, a fighter that's smart, sharp, and refreshingly cost-effective. Fighter jet or budget nightmare? Sweden picks, both, wisely, back in the 1980s, Sweden found itself stuck between a rock and a cold war. Neutrality was still the national mantra, but the growing tension with the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics meant that simply being nice wasn't going to cut it anymore. Sweden needed a fighter one that could guard the skies, strike ground targets, spy on enemies, dance through dogfights, and, crucially, do it all on a budget. Think IKEA, but for fighter jets, they could have picked a fighter off the global shelf. The F-16, Mirage 2000, and even the F-A-18 Hornet were up for grabs. But the Swedes, true to their independent streak, decided to build their own. Cue the creation of the JAS-39 Gripen, a name that sounds like a high-performance blender but actually translates to Griffin in English. Fitting, considering the Saab logo proudly features this mythical beast. The birth of the budget beast. Development began with Saab teaming up with Volvo Aero, Ericsson, and others in a national defense supergroup called Industrigruppen JAS. By 1987, they unveiled the first prototype of the Gripen. It looked slick with a delta wing and canards, and it could turn on a dime. It was purposely designed to be slightly aerodynamically unstable for improved agility, using a digital fly-by-wire system to keep it in check. Picture trying to drive a sports car with jet engines on ice, but with AI copiloting. This configuration eliminated the need for a horizontal tail, which freed up room inside for more fuel and gear. Its short takeoff and landing capabilities made it perfect for Sweden's unique defense plan. Scattered mini bases all over the country, including roadways that doubled as makeshift runways. Yes, Swedish fighter jets can literally take off from the highway. Try that in a stealth bomber. Gripen, the fighter jet that's actually friendly. Sweden didn't just build a jet, they built a jet you could maintain without a PhD in aerospace engineering. The Gripen can be turned around refueled, renamed, and checked for maintenance in under 10 minutes by a team of one technician and five regular staff. That's faster than most people microwave dinner. The designers prioritized low operating costs and simplicity. With a modular setup and the health and usage monitoring system ground crews can keep tabs on the jet's well-being in real time. Saab even leaned into 3D printing for spare parts. Got a broken flap? Just print a new one. Yes, Sweden is essentially treating fighter jets like Lego sets now. For perspective, an hour of flight time in a stealthy F-35 will cost you around $30,000. The Gripen, a modest $8,000. That's like comparing a Lamborghini to a Tesla Model 3 and the Gripen still gives you serious speed and bite. Variants, from vanilla to next generation. The Gripen story doesn't end with the original aversion. The B variant added a second seat for training and easier mission management, though it traded away a cannon and some fuel space to make room. The later C and D models brought NATO compatibility, better electronics, and in-flight refueling capabilities. But the real showstopper, the Gripen E and F, also known as the Gripen Next Generation. These jets don't just update the fighter, they give it a glow up. Saab tweaked the wing design for more surface area, giving it a trapezoidal shape to support heavier external loads. The next generation can carry everything from sidewinders and advanced medium range air to air missile to the chunky RBS 15 anti ship missiles, each weighing about 1,800 pounds. In total, it can be loaded with up to 16 precision bombs or 9 air-to-air -air missiles. Not bad for a jet that still costs less than many supercars. More thrust, more range, more tech. The Gripen E is powered by the General Electric F414 engine an upgraded beast with 22,000 pounds of thrust when using afterburners. That gives it speeds up to Mach 2 and an operational ceiling of 50,000 feet which is high enough to give even the boldest pigeons an inferiority complex. 
with rearranged landing gear and a new fuel system, it gets 40% more internal fuel than the older models, boosting its range to over 800 miles in combat and up to 2,500 miles for ferry flights. Of course, what's under the hood matters just as much. The older radar was swapped out for a Leonardo Raven ES-05 active electronically scanned array radar mounted on a rotating repositioner. That's right, while other fighters stare straight ahead like they're afraid to look around, the Gripen can swing its radar side to side and track enemies while performing evasive maneuvers. Basically, it can look over its shoulder without breaking a sweat. It also includes the Scour G infrared search and track system, allowing passive tracking of heat signatures from enemy aircraft, even stealthy ones. No radar ping? No problem. Because getting hit is so last century. Gripen NG's Electronic Warfare Suite is called Electronic Warfare System, and Saab refers to it as a digital shield. It's got full 360-degree missile approach warning, jamming tools, flares, and more. It's like having a ninja bodyguard that spots the punch before the enemy throws it. Thanks to the modular software and hardware design, the Gripen can be upgraded easily. Think of it like a smartphone just with missiles and afterburners. Want a new radar system or weapons upgrade? No problem. It's future-proof for the 2040s and beyond. The pilot's new best friend. One of the reasons Gripen is called the most pilot-friendly fighter in the world is its cockpit. The latest E and F variants ditch the three-screen setup in favor of a single wide-area touchscreen display. Think less instrument panel and more Google Earth on steroids. Pilots get a full map of the battlefield, threat locations, friendlies, objectives, and real-time mission data all in one place. They can manage this information manually, semi-autonomously, or let the aircraft's onboard AI handle it all. Customizable, efficient, and modern this is the dream cockpit, not a Cold War relic with a million dials. Who's flying the Gripen? So far, more than 300 Gripens have flown off the production line. Beyond Sweden, you'll find these nimble jets soaring over South Africa, Brazil, Thailand, Hungary, and the Czech Republic. Brazil, in particular, became a major partner, even helping develop the E and F models. With a unit price of around $50-$60 million for the latest variants, the Gripen is significantly more affordable than the F-35, which comes in at a spicy $80 million and up. And we have not even started talking about maintenance or spare parts areas where the Gripen keeps proving itself to be a wallet-friendly warrior. Will the Gripen stay relevant through the 2040s? That's the big question. As countries develop sixth-generation fighters that look more like alien spacecraft than traditional jets, the Gripen might seem like a middleweight punching in a heavyweight arena. But it's a clever, capable, and incredibly versatile platform. It may not be as stealthy as an F-22 or as high-tech as future fighters, but with consistent upgrades, robust design, and unbeatable cost efficiency, the Gripen still makes a lot of sense for countries that want serious air power without breaking the bank. Plus, with modular tech and pilot-friendly systems, there's plenty of room for further evolution. And if all else fails, maybe the next Swedish fighter will be 3D-printed, solar-powered, A-piloted, and shaped like a moose. A legend in the making. The JAS-39 Gripen isn't just a cheaper alternative. It's a smart, stylish, and surprisingly powerful aircraft that proves you don't need stealth coating and a trillion-dollar budget to be effective. With its low operational costs, modular upgrades, combat-proven capability, and user-focused design, it's no wonder more and more nations are lining up to shake Saab's hand. As the aviation world zooms ahead into stealth and drones, the Gripen stands as a reminder that simplicity, efficiency, and a bit of Swedish cleverness can go a long way. It's not a Ferrari. It's not a Ford. It's a Volvo fighter jet, practical, safe, and secretly a beast under the hood. And that's a wrap on the mighty Gripen, the jet that proves you don't need stealth to be stealthy cool. If you enjoyed this high-flying journey through Swedish engineering genius, go ahead and smash that like and hit that subscribe button.